You're listening to another episode of Faith Deficit, a weekly program that explores individual stories of faith in an increasingly secular world. Today I'm launching my very first podcast. It's a labor of love and of fear. I've told my friends that I started this because I need a hobby, a creative output, something fun and cathartic, and something new. And that's kind of true, but this is a journey that I'm taking in the maybe vain hope that I'll discover faith. Because even though I'm culturally Jewish, I can't honestly say that I believe in a Jewish God, or any God for that matter. I'm skeptical of everything. I can't even be atheist because, hey, there could be something out there. So I feel like I'm just swimming around, and I don't know anything anymore. Uh, When I was a kid, I decided I believed in God. It just popped in my head, and that was good enough for me. When I was a philosophy student in Vancouver, my concept of God changed and it evolved. I read Descartes and Hegel and Camus and Judith Butler and Bell Hooks and on and on and on, and I started to believe that maybe God was everywhere, in everything, a supreme consciousness that all of us participated in, a nice warm quilt that hugged us close in this hippy-dippy planet we called Earth. Uh, And then I went through a pretty dark time, and... God, to me, became like a trickster in the universe, a cruel and amoral creator, like Loki or Nana Bozo, some dark and callous joker. And then I mostly, I came through the other side, a little scathed, but in a mentally healthy place. And I'm here now. I'm married, I'm somewhat stable, uh, but without a core faith or ideology. I have a basic moral code some beliefs about how the world works, but nothing overarching, no specific guiding principles that get me out of bed in the morning. Just living day to day, and taking care of the house, and spending time with people I care about, and maybe that's enough. Uh, But at the same time, something inside me is driving me to find out if there's anything else. And I need to know what drives other people. People who praise God for their food without question, or people who have the courage of their convictions, or people who would die for a cause. Like, would I honestly die for a cause? A loved one, maybe, but a belief or a faith? I don't know. I doubt it. I don't think I'm alone. I think a lot of people are pulling away from tradition and are trying to find solace in something new, like guided meditation or clean eating or healthy living or consumerism, TV, video games, D&D, improv, football, I don't know. But I feel like something else is missing, and I need to try to figure out what it is. I'm lucky to have some guests with me on this journey. Every week I'll have a new perspective from a guest. Guests like former mayor David Miller, or my friend Mark McGuckin, who went from success in the TV business to the Catholic Church, or member of the Royal Canadian Air Force and Canadian comedy royalty Don Ferguson, who went the other way. I'll speak with atheists and Hindus, Buddhists, Wiccans, Jews, and maybe even a few agnostics like me. I'm planning to speak with philosophers and preachers, artists and singers, comedians and bankers, and I hope that maybe through these conversations I'll start to figure something out that makes sense for me, something that I can get behind. It's selfish, I know, and I hope that the process of me figuring it out, anybody who's listening can get some answers too. Um, No promises, though. It's been a learning curve. You know, learning about marketing, the ups and downs of voiceover IP, the challenges of recording remote guests and the steps involved in actually creating, editing, marketing, and and really launching a podcast. But it's fun, and I think I have something here, so I'm going to explore it. And I want to thank anybody who's actually listening uh, for exploring it with me. And I want to thank a few more people in this introductory episode, too. I want to thank all my guests who are opening up and talking about something that we never really talk about. I can't say how much it means to me that you are willing to be vulnerable and speak with me about something so personal. Uh, I want to thank Angela Paz and Daniela Cross and Erica Clement Gowdy for marketing tips and assorted ideas. And I want to thank Doug Foley from the Happiness of Pursuit podcast for some extremely valuable suggestions. And I use them mostly. I want to thank Jeremy Voltz, who's an incredible singer and multi instrumentalist. He did the intro and outro for my show, and I think it's perfect. And I want to thank all my friends who've helped me test software and listened as I bounced ideas off them. And I want to thank my mom, dad, and sister, and my amazing wife, Laura Bailey. She has her own project called Stories to Songs on her YouTube channel. It's Laura Bailey Bailey Music. That's her channel. And she's working on some other stuff, too. Maybe she'll be on the podcast someday to talk about it all. I don't know. (laughs) So that's enough of that. Thanks for listening to the intro, and thanks for listening to my show. You can find all my info on faithdeficit.com. So please look me up. You know, send me an email or tweet or whatever. Um, you know, rate the podcast if you like it. 
Um, and please just share your thoughts with me. Um, let me know what you're thinking and let me know how you feel about faith because I really do need to know. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. You can find our website at faithdeficit.com. Faith Deficit's recorded and produced in Guelph, Ontario at Domo Studios. Music by Jeremy Volts. You can hear more of his music at jeremyvolts.com. If you've been enlightened by this week's episode of Faith Deficit, we'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and provide an iTunes review. You can also support the program on Patreon, and if you do, thanks so much. I'm Josh Bowen, and this is Faith Deficit. <laughs>